afternoon. Just uh, <coughs> a messy update. It's uh, I've done a bit because uh, we've had the bloke uh, a plumber in to fix the boiler, so that's why I couldn't have the camera going. Um, update on what we did previous. As you can see, I've put two pieces of polystyrene in. Uh, I haven't gone through my previous videos, so I can't remember roughly when. I think I've just put a piece of polystyrene over this. I've managed to just sort of roughly trace the lines. Um, but I put this in. And then I thought, right, I've got to apologise. I can't zoom out far enough. I haven't got one of these fancy lenses. Um, so, obviously, just there. That's going to be a tunnel exit. Roughly about here somewhere. And they're going to come out. Um, and then as soon as it starts to straighten up, I want it to start the incline. Now, I've got a load of wood from uh, the orange warehouse place. And I managed to get this 4mm ply. Now, there was a slight little bow in it. But I needed that gradual incline starting from there. Rising up 1 inch. To there. No stupid me this morning. Started here. With a hacksaw blade. It was lovely this side. Following the line. Oh, the way I got the line was to point of reference where I wanted the incline to start. I drew the string up basically um, where I wanted it to go. It's not going to work because there's obstacles. So. Basically, just get incline now. It started now this, this side, but when I come to this side, it was on chunks, massive chunks out of this section. Um, this snapped off, which I didn't want it to. This orange line is roughly um, the the edge, like this edge. So where I've got the two tracks, they're two inches from this side. So this black line will be this edge. And this edge is this black line. And then this edge is the orange. So I've got enough, as you can see, the track. So the track will come this side. I've then got enough just for a shoulder. So between the two lines I've got just enough for a shoulder and that's just a safety point, maybe a fence. Just a way point. But like I say, cutting away. It just went to pot. Totally wrong. Um and then oh, what do I do with it now? And then stupid me realised I've just cut the line off and I couldn't see. There is a slight gap uh, under there which I've just got to get rid of that. Well, I've got some tissue paper, I'm just going to put a bit of glue. I try and make a bit of Mod Podge stuff and pack it under. But before I do that, the way I did the incline is if I just get rid of this straight room. It's a nice bit of ply, and I ran it down from top to bottom. Now, like I said, there was some undulations in it, and all I did was just pack them up. So I cut, measured it, and then as soon as that wood touched there, I knew it was that distance. These have now yes gone off. Um, so I literally just put those on. I mean, you can still see a gap. I'm not leaning on that yet. Something stuck on there. That's it. These little packers here are literally just to stop. These should slide out. But I didn't want to lift this off. And then for them to fall out. So what I'll do is lift this section off. Lay them in glue, um, 
and then reposition that. I've just got to get rid of this transition from here to say here. I have cut a piece of wood. I'm just going to run that from that thickness down to nothing. That wood I was going to use as um, a partition. So there is a partition wall going alongside that. Because obviously from where that track is, that'll be the decline coming down. I've got from there to get up to that somewhere. Um, I don't know how I'm going to do that because I haven't got enough run. I may have to just try carve it into the foam. I've only got to literally get to that point. So as long as I get a certain grade up to here then I can cut the rest into the foam um, and I may just put like a piece of um, just some of this down just to level it off or a piece of ply. I'll cut it to the shape and just figure it from that way. I am trying to talk and think at the same time so yeah that's it so far I mean I'm stuck it's not as cold as it was yesterday so I'll turn the camera around glue this in uh, see how we get from there forget I'm supposed to be recording this. <laughs> oh god, right. From the last bit I had to drop everything, school run. Right, pick him up. Right, okay. So I don't know if you saw the yeah you saw the underneath. Uh where are we? Little pointer. Come on, on the screen there. So there and there there and so on down run some glue on the top of those put the board on made a bit of like um you can't see it from there, from there. this section here the one I said I took out uh, I've just filled it back in and this section here a bit like a, a bit of modge podge so basically just mashed up tissue paper a bit of PVA bit of water and I do use uh, I use it for everything uh, bonding undercoat and repair plaster it is it is that one actually it's the other one I usually use that one under there but the other one's walled up adhesive that goes off rock solid that'll take off in a day it is cold tonight, so. Um, but like I say, yeah. That incline is on there. I mean, so it'll come out of there, it'll run up. Gradually incline over to here. That section, I have just got to put a piece of ply. That'll be the next sec part to do. So, what I'll do, I'll just cut out a little bit from there. Um, that can go. That's the other side of the track, so it's about an inch in from there. So the bridge is there, so the tunnel portal. So I'll probably just come off from this section enough just to hold it. Um, so basically, I just slot down into that. That gives you a tunnel. The sides may need adjusting. I have done this. So they don't touch, they interact, interact, yeah, whatever. Um, 
but these, like I say, this is left on the top. From the other side, this side, it'd be like a, a parapet wall. There's, I've got to make some more of these. Um, okay, that sits in there just nice. Gives me my embankment now. That showed you on the other one. Those two are the same as those. Um, like I said, the fourth rail is not going to be running in that section there. I've just marked my line from that point to that point. Just a gradual to coming close to it. That is the width. Sorry, there. That point to that point is the width of that viaduct. That's going to go across the two. Um, I'm now just going to run another section of cork all the way around. So then I've got a double track up to that. looking for my light and I've just realised I've left it in my loft. I'm struggling here because I've only got one strip light. It's over there. The pencil mark is on this side so it's casting a shadow. Improvise. Better than nothing. Hold on if you can see what I've done. Mm. See, it's pitch black outside. Uh, on a clip, bendy wire, mobile phone, torch. Stop there for a moment because I do want to sort out this section. Now the transition between the two. Didn't realise the camera had turned off. <coughs> so okay, watch that uh, that last little bit. You may have been uh, wincing at the uh, the sight of me with the chisel and a knife towards my fingers, and 
I've had lots of years of. So we've got three ploy. One I took one layer off. Left a sandwich of two. And then this one I took the two layers off. Okay, start again, take 70 something of trying to do a voiceover audio. As you can see, I'm just finishing off this last few minutes of video. I'm peeling foil strips off the foam material uh, that I was using for the track bed. I finish gluing them up the incline and it comes to an end around on the corner somewhere. I need to, in my opinion, I think it'd be better ending the film with like um, a summary video of what's what's been done rather than just you know the end. That's something I can work on. Um, as you can see, the position in the camera, I'm having to angle it on a doll's house in the corner. Now, can't see much. I can never tell the zoom because the screen's on the back of the camera. I can't tell what I'm zooming until it's downloaded and I'm in this editing process. Now the camera I've seen for doing these vlogging, it's I think it's a bit out of my price range for what it is. So that's on pause for the moment. I think I'll leave that for the night. I'll let it go off. I tidy up the table. Uh, I think my lad comes home shortly. Uh, and it's not long before he goes to bed, I think. So I, I just wrap up for the night. Um, I hope these videos, I know they're long and laborious and emphasise on one detail too much. But maybe there's somebody out there who thinks, I don't know, I'm struggling, how, how do I do an incline or how do I make a transition from one angle to the next. There's my lad. So, I think he's in here a few minutes, he disappears and he's off. Yeah, scissors. He's gone. Right. Thanks a lot, guys, for watching. Um, if you can, if you'd like to, leave comments on how I can improve things. Also, comments on what you'd like to see. Um, I'm new to this, so please like, please subscribe. Help me out whichever way you can. Thanks a lot.